So we have learned in previous videos that understanding how to find equivalent fractions is such an important concept to master because it comes into play in so many different ways, especially when you start adding and subtracting fractions that don't have the same denominator. Let's go over a few examples for finding equivalent fractions. Since there are so many possibilities for finding equivalent fractions, I'm going to give you some of the information in the problem. You just need to solve for x to make them equivalent. The first four, I want you to make them into equivalent fractions by solving for x. The last two problems, I want you to tell me if they are indeed equivalent fractions. Pause the video, work them out yourself, and then unpause and see if we get the same answer. Let's get started. Example 1. 2 over 10 equals x over 30. We can look at this two ways, and I'll walk through both. First, we know that the denominator of 10 can be converted into a denominator of 30 by multiplying the denominator by 3. If we multiply the denominator by 3, then we have to multiply the numerator by 3. When we do that, we get x is equal to 6. Another way to look at it is by using cross multiplication, which means multiplying the numerator of one fraction times the denominator of the other fraction, and vice versa. We take 2 times 30, and we get 60. Now what number times 10 equals 60? Well, 6, so that's the numerator of our second fraction. Example 2. 5 over 15 is equal to x over 45. We know that 15 goes into 45 three times, so we multiply our numerator of 5 by 3, and we get 15. As a double check, we can say that 5 times 45 is 225, and if we take 15 times 15, we also get 225, so we know the two fractions are equivalent. Example 4. 1 over x is equal to 15 over 30. This one may be easier to solve by looking at cross multiplication. If we look at 1 times 30, we get 30. What number times 15 equals 30? Well, 2, so our equivalent fraction is 1 half. And that makes sense, right, because 15 is half of 30. Example 4. 7 over 9 is equal to x over 81. We know that 9 goes into 81 a total of 9 times. If we multiply the denominator by 9, we do the same to the numerator of 7, and we get 63. The equivalent fraction is 63 over 81. For the next two examples, I want you to tell me if they're equivalent or not. Example 5. Are these two fractions equivalent? Is 2 thirds equal to 20 over 30? This is an easy one, as we know that if we multiplied 3 times 10, it equals 30, and 2 times 10 is equal to 20. So yes, the two fractions are equivalent. As a double check, we can cross multiply, which says 2 times 30 is 60, and 3 times 20 is 60. Both equal 60, 60, so the fractions are equivalent. Last example. Is 2 fifths equal to 6 tenths? Looking at our denominator of 5, we would have to multiply it by 2 to get 10. If we multiply our numerator by 2, we get 4, not 6. So these fractions are not equivalent. Looking at them from cross multiplication, 2 times 10 is equal to 20, and 5 times 6 is equal to 30. So again, they're not equivalent. By now you should be mastering the concept of equivalent fractions. Let me know how you did in the comments below. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks so much for watching.